Hello, everyone. In King Legacy, formerly known as King Peace, players immerse themselves in battles, character progression, and the discovery and utilization of devil fruits. These devil fruits, along with consumables like King Legacy fruit, offer unique abilities crucial for success. Hence, discerning and utilizing the epic devil fruits becomes a pivotal aspect of gameplay. The provided King Legacy fruit tier list serves as a valuable resource, particularly in navigating the complexities of the game's seas. Notably, fruits lower in the tier list find their utility primarily in the first sea, where formidable bosses are scarce compared to the second and third seas. Additionally, for players aiming to swiftly reach the maximum level, selecting optimal characters is imperative. The tier list further aids in this endeavor, offering rankings based on each fruit's skills, abilities, and rarity, thereby assisting players in making informed choices to enhance their gameplay experience and prowess. Navigating the world of King Legacy entails strategic selection and utilization of Devil Fruits, which significantly influence a character's strength and abilities. With the game's diverse array of fruits, each possessing unique attributes, players must weigh their options carefully. Whether delving into battles or embarking on quests for progression, the tier list serves as a guiding beacon, organizing fruits from best to worst based on their inherent capabilities. By leveraging this resource, players can optimize their gameplay strategies, maximizing their potential for success and advancement within the dynamic and challenging realms of King Legacy. I'm quickly moving on to the video and I'm ranking fruits in King Legacy. Before we start, if you enjoy these types of tier list videos, don't forget to like the video and subscribe. Enjoy watching. A very small portion of the audience is subscribed to the channel. Please don't forget to subscribe if you like these types of videos. Thanks. The fruits in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Spin, Human, Spike, and Bomb. The Spin Spin fruit, despite its low cost, is often regarded as the least desirable choice in King Legacy due to its lackluster flight capabilities and absence of damaging moves. While it may suit adventurers seeking mobility, its limited combat utility makes it unattractive to most players, except those focused on melee or sword-based gameplay. Human-Human Fruit, wielded by Tony Tony Chopper in King Legacy, offers versatility in PvP with its damage reduction capability. While it excels in close-range combat with powerful attacks, it struggles at long range, making it vulnerable to counterattacks. Its monster form boasts high damage potential, but is susceptible to long-range attacks due to its large hitbox. Toge Tog no Mai, also known as the Spike Fruit in King Legacy, is a Paramecia-type devil fruit sought after by players for its ability to transform any body part into deadly spikes. Wielded by Zala in the anime manga, it excels in dealing high damage and is favored for both grinding and PvP encounters. However, its limitations in Sea King farming and raids make it less desirable for certain gameplay scenarios. Bomb Fruit in King Legacy is a Paramecia-type fruit, wielded by Mr. Five in the anime. Despite its affordability, it offers decent area-of-effect damage, making it a suitable choice for beginners. However, its true potential shines when awakened, boasting massive AoE and damage capabilities. The fruits in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Smoke, Love, Paw, String, Wolf, Barrier, Giraffe, and Shadow. Moku Moku no Mi, Smoke Fruit, a Logia type, offers players the ability to transform into smoke and generate the substance. With its versatility in dealing good damage and facilitating NPC gathering with the V-Move, it stands out as the only uncommon tier Logia fruit, available through various means such as discovery, purchase, or gotcha. However, precision is crucial as its X, V, and C moves deliver low damage if not executed accurately, while its Z move has limited range. Love Love Fruit, wielded by Boa Hancock in King Legacy, is prized for its ability to petrify opponents, making it a valuable asset for both PvP and farming. Though not ideal for beginners, its stunning capabilities and high AoE 
make it a top-tier choice alongside fruits like Quake, despite recent nerfs. Pawpaw Fruit, also known as the Nikyu Nikyu no Mi, offers formidable advantages to its users. With the ability to repel physical force and deliver significant damage, it's a valuable asset for both beginners and seasoned players alike. Whether for strategic retreats or unleashing devastating combos, its versatility and accessibility make it a sought-after choice among fruit enthusiasts. String fruit, also known as the Ido Ido no Mai, is a sought-after Paramecia-type fruit in the King Legacy game. With its ability to manipulate strings and deliver high damage at both close and long range, it offers players exceptional versatility and movement capabilities. Obtaining this fruit from the black market, gotcha, or through exploration, adds an exciting dimension to gameplay, especially with its unique NPC, Captain String, and raid boss encounters. Ino Ino no Mai, also known as the Wolf Wolf Fruit, used to be considered lackluster, with close-range attacks dealing minimal damage. However, thanks to a recent rework, this zone-type fruit has been revitalized, now boasting significantly increased damage output, making it a much more formidable choice for players seeking ferocious combat abilities. Bari Bari no Mai, also known as the Barrier Barrier Fruit, is a Paramachia-type fruit in King Legacy. It's wielded by Bartolomeo, captain of the Straw Hat Grand Fleet, allowing players to conjure green barriers for both defense and offense. Despite its underrated status, its strategic versatility and unique abilities make it a valuable asset in battles within the game. Giraffe Giraffe Fruit in King Legacy transforms the user into a giraffe, wielded by Kaku from CP9. Despite its availability through various means, its limited combat abilities, high cooldowns and low AoE make it one of the least favored fruits, with only its slash move being somewhat effective in PvP battles. Many consider it the weakest fruit in the game. The fruits in this tier are in order from top left to bottom right. Buddha, Dark, Venom, Leopard, Sand, Aloe, Gravity, Gum, Opie, Spino, Brachio, and Mammoth. Hito Hito no Mai, also known as the Buddha fruit, is a sought-after Zoan-type devil fruit in King Legacy. Once consumed, it transforms the user into a towering yellow Buddha, offering incredible speed at sea, making it ideal for navigating the vast waters quickly. However, its bulky form makes it less effective for grinding and PvP, with medium damage moves and a larger hitbox that leaves the user vulnerable to attacks. Dark Fruit stands out as a formidable Logia-type devil fruit, reminiscent of Blackbeard's Yami Yami no Mai from the anime. Its awakening requiring the Dark Beard hat accessory and totaling 715 gems enhances its power significantly, making it a worthy choice for PvP battles, especially when wielded alongside the Soul Cane or Ponder Blade. On Awakened, it deals between 42k 45k damage, while Awakened, its total damage ranges from 35k 36k, making it a force to be reckoned with in the game. Doku Doku no Mai, also known as the Venom Venom Fruit in King Legacy, offers a deadly advantage with its ability to unleash various lethal venoms. Possessing this rare Paramecia-type devil fruit, players can wreak havoc on NPCs during raids and wars, making it one of the most sought-after raid fruits in the game. Additionally, its awakened form boasts immense damage potential, reaching up to 420k, 690k for combos, ensuring a significant edge in battles, especially when paired with the Soul Cane for devastating one-shot combos. Leopard Leopard Fruit stands out as a carnivorous Zoan type, granting its user the fierce abilities of a leopard. Former CP9 leader turned CP0 head, Rob Lucci, wields this formidable fruit, known for its decent damage output and a devastating move, Flame Bullet. While it's a solid choice for beginners, its average capabilities may not hold up as well in later stages of the game. Sand Sand Fruit, also known as Suna Suna no Mi, is a sought-after Logia type, Devil Fruit in King Legacy. It grants users the ability to transform their bodies into sand, offering excellent mobility and damage potential, making it an ideal choice for novice players aiming to progress swiftly through the game's challenges. 
whether acquired through exploration, purchasing from the black market, or through gotcha. Its affordability and effectiveness make it a favored choice among adventurers in the game. Alo Alo Fruit transforms users into formidable Allosaurus creatures, enhancing their health and strength while forfeiting abilities like Jeppo, Dash, and Soru. Acquiring this fruit can be through various means, including discovering it, rolling it from Gacha, or purchasing it from the black market for $2800000 and three gems. Players can customize the appearance of their Allosaurus form by re-rolling it at Nishi's location, offering flexibility in their in-game avatar. Zushi Zushi no Mi, also known as the Gravity Fruit in King Legacy, offers players exceptional grinding and raiding capabilities with its control over gravitational forces. While not recommended for PvP due to its focus on area damage, its affordability and potent abilities make it an excellent choice for players seeking efficient gameplay in various scenarios, including Golden Arena challenges. Gumfruit in King Legacy boasts two powerful transformations, Gear 2nd and Gear 4th. Without these enhancements, its combat capabilities are limited, but with them, it becomes a formidable force, significantly increasing damage output. Overall, the Gomu Gomu no Mai is a valuable addition to any player's arsenal in the game. Op Op no Mai, also known as the Operation Fruit, is a rare paramecia type sought after by players for its ability to create a room where the user has absolute control. Despite its PvP potential and decent damage output, it's considered less effective for grinding due to its limited range and susceptibility to counters, making it a situational choice for players. Spino Fruit in King Legacy is a rare ancient zone type devil fruit, granting the user the ability to transform into a powerful Spinosaurus hybrid and full form. While lacking in PvP effectiveness due to mobility limitations, it excels in farming quests with its potent normal attacks, making it a valuable asset for efficient solo boss battles. Obtaining this fruit either through purchase or chance makes it a coveted and costly asset within the game. Brachio Fruit in King Legacy is a formidable choice, granting immense health boosts akin to the Dragon Fruit. Despite its drawback of slower movement, its AoE attacks and regeneration capabilities make it a fun and powerful option, particularly in raids like the Golden Arena. However, recent adjustments have balanced its dominance, allowing all NPCs to pose a threat, though strategic use with Kenbunshoku Haki remains effective, especially against raid bosses. Zuzu no Mai, Mammoth is one of the coveted fruits in King Legacy, boasting the ancient Zoan power to transform into a mammoth. With its high devil fruit stat requirements and lengthy cooldowns, it presents a challenging but rewarding choice for experienced players like Jack the Drought. However, its rarity and steep price tag of $11,100,000 and five gems make it a daunting investment for newcomers. The fruits in this tier are in order from top left to bottom right, Ice, Gas, Gate, Light, Gold, Snow, Magnet, Quake, Spirit, Rumble, Magma, and Flame. Ice Fruit, a sought-after Loja-type Devil Fruit in King Legacy, offers players the power to wield and manipulate ice, rendering them formidable opponents. With its ability to freeze enemies and grant users immunity to lower-level NPCs, it's a strategic choice for beginners and seasoned players alike, enhancing combat effectiveness and traversal with its unique properties. Gas Gas Fruit stands out in King Legacy, with its exceptional ability to enable flight and perform attacks while airborne, making its user elusive and formidable. Highly recommended for Sea King farming and a solid choice for players seeking a rare and versatile fruit, although it might be surpassed by legendary options later on. Gate Fruit, known as the Doa Doa no Mi, is a legendary paramecia type that grants its user, Bluno of CP0, the power to summon and utilize gates at will. With its twisted purplish design and powerful abilities, it's a sought-after asset for PvP battles, grinding sessions and efficient transportation across the game's vast landscapes. Its versatility, high damage output, 
and short cooldowns make it a formidable choice for players seeking dominance in combat scenarios, especially against Sea Kings and Hydras. Lightfruit in King Legacy offers unparalleled versatility, boasting both exceptional grinding capabilities and formidable PvP prowess. With its long-range options like Light Magnum and close-range AoE moves like Light Barrage, it's a formidable choice for any player looking to dominate in both PvE and PvP scenarios. Plus, its light flyability ensures swift mobility across islands, making it a must-have for any serious contender in the game. Goru Goru no Mi in King Legacy offers excellent damage potential with its auto-aim ability, Golden City, and strong stun capabilities. While it requires precision aiming, it excels in both PvE grinding and PvP combat, although users must be mindful of cooldown management, particularly for the B skill. Snow Snow Fruit, also known as the Yuki Yuki no Mi, in King Legacy grants users the ability to transform their bodies into snow, becoming formidable snow humans. Previously wielded by Monet in the anime, it's obtainable in-game through various means like the black market or gacha, albeit exceptionally rare. Despite a recent nerf having its damage output, it remains a sought-after choice for both grinding and PvP due to its potent area of effect attacks and useful teleportation abilities. Magnet Magnet Fruit, or Jiki Jiki no MI, wielded by Eustace Kid, is a formidable Paramecia-type fruit granting the power to manipulate magnetic fields, attracting or repelling metallic objects. Known for its high damage output, wide hitbox, and insane combo potential, it's a prized acquisition for players, albeit challenging to master due to its aim-dependent nature and lack of mobility. Quake Quake Fruit in King Legacy is a powerful choice, granting users the ability to create devastating tremors. With its stun capabilities and decent damage output, it's a solid option for grinding, especially when combined with swords. However, its lack of teleportation moves may pose challenges for sword mains when dealing with enemies caught in its attacks. Soru Soru no Mi, also known as the Spirit Fruit, is a formidable Paramecia-type Devil Fruit in King Legacy. With its ability to manipulate human souls, it's highly sought after for its devastating AoE attacks and incredible damage output, making it a top choice for both grinding and PvP battles. However, beware of aerial confrontations where its dominance wanes. Rumble Rumble Fruit, also known as the Goro Goro no Mi in King Legacy, offers players lightning-based abilities, making it an underrated yet powerful choice. With its range, short cooldowns, and synergy with swords, it's a valuable asset for beginners and seasoned players alike, excelling in both PvE grinding and PvP combat. Despite occasional nerfs, its Logia intangibility and versatile moveset, such as Thunder Beam and Sky Thunder, ensure its effectiveness in various gameplay scenarios. Magma Magma Fruit, also known as Magu Magu no Mi, is a sought-after Logia-type devil fruit in King Legacy. Possessing the ability to transform the user into magma, it offers powerful close-range attacks like Magma Meteor, making it ideal for grinding and raids, despite its sluggish movement. While its slow pace renders it less effective in PvP scenarios, its combination of high damage and burn effects ensures its value in battles against both players and NPCs. Flame Flame Fruit, also known as the Mera Mera no Mai, is a sought-after Logia-type Devil Fruit in King Legacy. With abilities like turning the user's body into fire and granting flight, it's a powerful asset for experienced players although its slow-moving attacks make it less effective against other players. Obtaining it can be a challenge due to its high cost and limited availability, but its advantages in NPC battles make it a valuable choice for seasoned players. The fruits in this tier are, in order from top left to bottom right, Doe, Dragon, Phoenix, and Toy. Mochi Mochi Fruit, also known as the Doe Fruit, is a sought-after legendary Paramecia type in King Legacy. Despite its powerful offensive capabilities and decent stuns, its vulnerability to aerial combat and slow skill cooldowns post-nerf make it a challenging choice for PvP battles, often considered one of the weakest legendary fruits in the game. 
Dragon Fruit in King Legacy offers players a powerful transformation into a flying dragon, perfect for PvP battles with its AoE moves. However, its drawbacks like inability to wield swords and larger hitbox make it a strategic choice dependent on playstyle preferences and challenges in acquisition. Tori Tori no Mai, Phoenix in King Legacy grants players the power of a legendary phoenix, allowing them to heal themselves and ignite opponents for devastating damage. With its low stat requirement and versatile abilities, it's an excellent choice for beginners, especially in PvP combat situations. However, its short range and vulnerability during healing make it less effective against certain enemies like Sea King and Hydra. Hobi Hobi no Mi Toy is a legendary Paramecia Devil Fruit in King Legacy. While it excels in farming and grinding with its massive AoE moves, it struggles in PvP due to limited mobility and short-range Z skill. However, its C skill provides significant healing, making it valuable in raids despite some limitations in effectiveness against raid bosses. The video ends here. See you in another video. Don't forget to subscribe.